Guys, I saw the coolest movie in the world last night and I want to imitate it. Dude, what was it? Up. Oh. oh, like the Pixar movie. Yeah, this old guy, he like wants his house to fly, so he ties a bunch of balloons to his house, and his house actually flies, so I want my house to fly. Well, you can't really do that, Junior. That was just a movie. Yeah, I can. Balloons make stuff go in the air, so if I put enough balloons on my house, it'll go in the air. Well, maybe, but it would take like millions of balloons. So we're just going to get millions of balloons. Well, how are you going to get millions of balloons? Could you buy it? Yeah, what an idiot. Like, he's so dumb. He acts like he doesn't know what money is. Dude, it's like only two cents for balloons. Yeah, so it's like only like 20 bucks. <laughs> he's what? supposed to be the smart one. I know. Junior, just because you see something in a movie, Movie doesn't mean you can really do it. It happened in a movie, Cody, so that means it can really happen. They don't make movies about stuff that doesn't happen. Well, yes, they do. They do it all the time. Like, what about Star Wars? That actually happened. It happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. They even tell you in the beginning, Cody, it's history. Fight. Okay, fine. So look, you're just telling me that every Pixar movie didn't actually happen, so you're telling me that there's like Ratatouille. There's not a restaurant in France that's like ran by rats? Well, yeah, no, that did not happen. So monsters don't come out of your closet to collect your screen? Yeah, but th that happens. But no, it doesn't. No, yes it does, Cody! Yes it does, dude! My uncle comes out of my closet to collect my screens all the time! Exactly! Look, look, look Cody, we're gonna prove you. Come on, let's go look at my closet. I bet you're gonna see the monster universe. I see my uncle. All right, guys, we're about to open my closet. You ready to see a bunch of monsters trying to collect our screams so they can feed their families? Dude, I gotta warn you guys first. My Uncle Larry doesn't like to wear pants. He's a goofball. Guys, there's not gonna be anything in that closet but clothes. Well, if my Uncle Larry's in that closet, there will not be any clothes. All right, look, guys, guys, we're gonna open the door, and we're gonna see a bunch of monsters on the laugh floor. Oh, wait, I forgot. They collect our laughs now. So, Cody, when we prove you wrong, we're all gonna laugh at you so we can give them a bunch of energy. Oh, yeah. All right, say hi to Mike Wazowski! <laughs> I told you. What? Oh, great, they shredded our door. What? Or there were no monsters in there to begin with. No, they heard about our plan that we were going to expose them, so they shredded our door because they didn't want us to find out about the monster world. Oh, dude, I hate when that happens. <sighs> well, Cody, why would you do this? <sighs> Whatever. Wow, guys, I can't believe I'll never see Mike Wazowski do stand-up in my room ever again because they shredded my door. Again? Yeah, Mike Wazowski always came in my room and did jokes. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to blow up a bunch of balloons so my house can fly. I want to go to space. Junior, there's not enough balloons in the world to send your house to space. I have a bunch of balloons downstairs, Cody, and we're going to blow up some balloons and prove you wrong yet again. Uh, wait, ag again? You didn't prove me wrong about the monsters. <sighs> Oh, this is gonna take forever. Joseph, how many balloons have you blown up? Only one, dude. I'm getting lightheaded. <sighs> Me too. Junior, this isn't gonna work. You don't have the right kind of balloons. What are you talking about? You need helium balloons. These are rubber balloons. No, no, Junior, helium is what goes inside the balloons. It's a gas. Oh, Joseph, we're supposed to be farting in the balloons. Start farting in them. Oh, I can do that. <sighs> but, no, 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 no. Junior, you don't <sighs> fart in the balloons. You, you have to mine for helium. You have to mine for it? Yes. You're mine, helium. You're mine! Yeah, you gotta want it! You're mine! No. Claim it! Oh my god! Come here, Helium! You're yeah. mine! Own it! Junior, you have to drill for Helium in the Earth! Why? Because it comes out of rocks! Oh, we have to collect rock farts? Oh! Wait. Joseph, do you still have Dwayne The Rock Johnson's number? No, I lost it, dude. Oh, we could really use his farts right now. I know. Alright, so we can just go buy Helium balloons, right? Well, I mean, yeah, but... Come on, Joseph, we're gonna buy some balloons. Okay. But, but Junior, that's... Alright, Cody, we bought a bunch of Helium balloons! Whee! You bought three. Well, well, the guy in the movie used regular balloons. These have characters on them, so they're more powerful. What? The Minions made so much money in the box office. You know how much weight that is to carry? What? Junior, it doesn't matter. They can't lift your house. Yes, they can. Well, they're not even lifting your couch, so why would they lift your house? <laughs> well, what do you want me to do, Cody? I want you to accept that your house is not going to fly. Yes, it's going to fly. Well, I want to go to space. Who are we going to talk to to help get my house go to space? Dude, call Elon Musk. He'll know. Oh, yeah, him. Wait, you still know his number? No, I forgot. Joseph always forgets phone numbers. Ooh, ooh, I'm so stupid. What, dude? Why don't we just call some aliens to lift our house with a UFO? Dude, that's genius. Wait, Junior, you just know aliens that you could just call. Yeah, let's go outside. I know how to call them. What? Junior, how are you going to call an alien? Like this. Junior, what was that? It's an alien phone call ring. What, really? Because it sounds like a turkey. Waka waka waka! Okay, that sounds like Pac-Man. Dude, look! What? 
You've got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah, get out the house, get out the house. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! The house is getting lifted up, guys! I think the balloons are helping! No, Junior, I'm pretty sure it's the aliens with their UFO! No, the balloons are definitely helping a little bit. Guys! We're in space! Dude, this is so cool! How are we breathing? Okay, okay, guys, guys, uh, what's going on? We're in space! Yeah, yeah, I noticed. See, I, I, I was using your bathroom, because I do that sometimes. I like to just sneak into your house and use the bathroom, because I don't like using gas stations. And then when I tried to leave, I, I noticed we were in outer space. Yeah, I got aliens to take my house to space. Oh, okay, C cool. Uh, do, do you know when they're going to bring us back down to Earth? I don't know, i got to talk to them. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that that's fine. I just, I left my car running, so I don't, I don't want it to run out of gas. And I was also on the phone with my wife, and, and I told her to hold on, so... She's probably going to be on hold for a while, and she's always wanted to go to space together, so if I tell her I went without her, she'd be pretty mad. Oh, well, I'll try to talk to him, but I guess we'll be in space for a little bit. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. I, uh, I, I guess I'll just walk, walk around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie! You are so hilarious! Wait. Wait, what are you doing in here? I told you to get out of here! You know how much Charlie and friends? Wait, what are you doing with that knife? Huh, I wonder what's in this room. I mean, it's not my house, but I'm still curious. Body! All right, Cody, now that we're in space, can we go outside and, like, float around? No, Junior, there's no oxygen outside. What's oxygen? It's what we breathe, Junior. I thought we breathed helium. <sighs> Junior, you're so stupid. Guys, guys, guys! I just found a body! What?! Wait, 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 what's that mean? Well, it means somebody in this house is an imposter! Or a murderer. I mean, that, that's really a better term for what they're doing. They're not really impersonating anybody. Or someone in here is impersonating someone that's not a bad person! Y yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that, sure, yeah. Oh, well, where'd you find the body? Well, it was in your dad's room. My dad's room? Well, we were all here. Yeah, we were in here, dude. Yeah, so you're the one who did it because you were the one that found it! What? No, I I'm a cop, I wouldn't do that! I mean, he is a cop, he is pretty nice. Well, was he unarmed? Yeah. Well, yeah? All oh, sus. Yeah, totally sus. Yeah. It's sus. Well, come on, why would I do that? Guys, I think we should skip because we don't really have any, like, you know, proof. So I think we should skip this round and just see if we have any, like, evidence next round. I guess so, dude. Let's skip. All right, you get away with this one. Okay, good. Now, I'm gonna just walk around the house and try to find some more clues. Who could the imposter be? I don't know, yeah. dude. Oh, my 100th cheesecake tonight, and I don't think I can finish it. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I can. Come here, you. Oh, oh, hey there, donkey. What are you doing with that knife? Would you like a piece of cheesecake? Oh, no. <laughs> He's just being creative. Sometimes I just wish Jeffy was gone. Mario! Y'all always mature. Pretty fruity on that booty. Mario, I'm going into the kitchen. What? <sighs> Man, I'm hungry. It was in the kitchen! I was upstairs. I was on the couch. Oh, well, I was doing my job in the kitchen. You were in the kitchen, it was you! Well, I was cooking in the kitchen. What were you cooking? Uh, pasta? Pasta. Imposter! It's him! Well, it's not me! You guys gotta be kidding! Look, I am not the imposter! Look, uh, uh, I heard someone say, hey, donkey, a minute ago! <gasps> Mario, you're the only one he calls donkey! Mm -hmm. uh, Shrek calls everyone donkey! How did you know it was Shrek? Sus. Sus. Oh, no, 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 I, I assumed it was Shrek because he said, hey, donkey, and it was in the kitchen. He always eats cheesecake in the kitchen, so I thought it was Shrek. Nope, it's him. I vote him. What? I vote Daddy. Me yeah, too. I vote Mario. What? No. All right, get him. What out? Get him. 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 Oh, it wasn't him. Yeah, serves him right after he threw my avocado guitar. Everyone back to normal. Turn bird. Oh, moody. Jeffy, I'm coming.
mean to say goodnight. Where? Right here, right there, right there! You reported it, that's kind of sus. <gasps> that's my son! Actually, he's adopted, she's already lying. Yeah, Teal's acting sus. Yeah, she's sus. Sus. I wouldn't kill Jeffy! Alright, where was everyone at? I was upstairs. Well, I was in the kitchen. I was in the red couch room. Um, I was here. Oh, she totally did it. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, yeah it's her. Yeah, Let's she, get her. yeah she did it, yeah. No! Oh, she wasn't the imposter. Well, I'm gonna go back to cooking. Well, I'm gonna go back to looking for clues. I'm gonna go sit with my friends again. Wait, how do you know one of your friends isn't the imposter? <gasps> because I've been with them the whole time. Except for right now. <gasps> Uh-oh. Cody, are you the imposter? No. Oh, buddy! Where? Where? Right here, and Cody totally did it because he didn't say anything, he didn't even report it. No, no, I didn't report it because I didn't want anybody to think that I did it. That's totally sus. Yeah, it's pretty sus. That's very sus. And Cody, you were sitting here next to him the whole time, so you would have saw who did it, and you did it. No, no, I got up to use the bathroom. Oh, so you just used the bathroom right now? Yeah, and I just got back. But here, ask Ken. Oh, come on, Ken. All right, does everybody vote Cody? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's throw him out. No, it wasn't me, guys. Get, get, get out of here. What? He wasn't the imposter? Okay, I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this at this point. We just keep throwing people out into space. Yeah, we're basically the imposters because we keep killing everybody. Yeah, we probably killed more people than he has at this point. All right, look, it's not going to be hard to figure it out now because there's only three of us. Four. Oh, get, get out of here! here. Well, it wasn't him either, but we had to be sure. Yeah, he was really quiet and that was sus. Well, I'm gonna get back to cooking. Well, no, Chef PB, there's only three of us left. It's one of us, so we're all gonna stay here. Well, it wasn't me. I was cooking the whole time. You don't know how to cook. That's sus. I'm a chef, Junior. There's nothing sus about that. And what about this cop? Well, I was looking for clues. Well, well what clues have you found? Well, none. Oh, that's sus right there. Yeah, it's really sus because right. if you haven't found any clues yet, that means you haven't been looking for anything. You've been killing people. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't doing that. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just really bad at my job, okay? Well, I think that's really sus. I think the cop did it. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. What about you? What have you been doing? I've just been sitting on this couch. Really? And that's where Joseph was found. <gasps> well, well, no, no, I wasn't here when Joseph got found. I was with you on the, uh, discussing other stuff. I don't know. That's pretty sus. Yeah, that's pretty sus. No, no, no. You've been walking around. We don't know where you've been. You claim to be cooking, but I don't smell any food. So I definitely think you're sus. I think you're sus. Oh, whatever, dude. I'm getting back to, to cooking because I'm tired of this, Junior. I don't know, Chef Evie's really sus because of how fast he wants to go to cooking. Yeah. Or you're sus because you want to stay next to me because you want to kill me. No, 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 you want me to be alone so you can kill me. Well, no, you get back, you step back. No, no, you step back. And you leave. You, you walk away. Well, this is my couch, you walk away. Oh, okay. Who is it? Huh, okay, so there has been some cooking going on, so he wasn't lying about that, but where is Chef Pee Pee? Oh man, I'm so nervous. It's either Chef Pee Pee or the cop. Chef Pee Pee or the cop. I should flip a coin. Heads or tails? What's that noise? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chef Pee Pee! What? Uh, Chef Pee-Pee's the imposter! <laughs> Proof? Uh, he just fell out of the vent, and he has this weapon! Well, no, 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 Junior's the imposter! I saw him come out of the vent with a uh, knife! Yeah, no, 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 no. Chef you came out of the vent! No, I saw you come out of the wait, vent! Wait, 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 what's this vent thing you're talking about? I think the way Chef has been killing everyone is he's been moving through the vent so we don't see him walking around. Huh, that'd be pretty smart, but you came up with that on your own? Well, I mean, I think that's what he's doing. That must be what you're doing, Junior, because I didn't even know you could do that. What, what, I didn't know you could do that until I saw you do it. You're the one who came out the vent. I was cooking the whole time, Junior. Wait, 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 wait. I just came from the kitchen, and you weren't in there. Uh, I mean, I, I came up here as soon as he called the meeting. That's that's what it was. No, I only called the meeting because I saw you come out the vent. Why would I call a meeting just for no reason? Y y wait, 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 wait. You said you saw him come in the vent, but how could you do that if you were just coming from the kitchen? Uh, uh I was coming up uh, the stairs, and I saw him coming out of the vent with a knife. Oh, I saw it all. No, I saw you come out the vent. Why would I call a meeting? If, if I was gonna tell him myself. Oh, 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 I know. Because you wanted me to think it was him. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, no, okay, so what if you would have showed up before him? Well, then you would have blamed me. Oh, uh, yep, totally sus. It's him, it's him. Yep, I'm voting him. Well, what the... Get him. No! Yeah. Get out of here! Okay, so it's you. No, it's you! No, I know it's obviously not me, because I know I didn't do it, and there's nobody else left. There's no point in lying now. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. I won! I won! Yeah, congratulations. You win life in prison when we get back to Earth. So, uh, when do we get back to Earth? I don't know, because we just threw the only guy who could talk to aliens into space. Oh. I win, though. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Daddy, can I go outside and throw my boomerang? No, Jeffy, it's dark outside. Huh? Well, can I throw it inside the house? No! What? Jeffy, I said do not throw it! Well, don't worry, Daddy, it's supposed to come back. Jeffy, boomerangs never work, they never come back. Oh. Well, Daddy, I'm bored. Well, then just watch TV with me, Jeffy. Alright, Daddy. <sighs> Hey you! Tired of wearing these clunky old virtual reality headsets? Me too. That's why I switched to the virtual reality sunglasses. Yeah, now I can play video games anytime, anywhere, and look cool doing it. No more getting made fun of in these babies. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Now I'm in my living room. Now I'm in space! Now I'm in my living room. Now I'm in space! And it has a camera on the front so it can track your hand motions. You don't even need a controller. Check this out. I'm driving a car in space. Yeah, get your pair right now. Five hundo, cash only, my garage, this Tuesday. Ooh, daddy, give me that. I want that. Jimmy, that cost five hundred dollars. I don't have five hundred dollars. I got five hundred dollars right here. Jeffy, where'd you get $500? The guy across the street paid me $500 to eat cheese and crackers from between his toes. Well, ew, Jeffy, and you ate it? Like I was starving, Daddy. I was like... <laughs> that was his toe coming out of my mouth. Jeffy, that's disgusting. Why would you do that? Who's paid, Daddy? Well, me. And whose toes are clean? His. And whose belly's full of cheese and crackers? Mine. And who doesn't have $500? You. And who needs to go give me the VR headset? You. So run along, peasant. <sighs> okay, fine. That, that, that's so disgusting, Jeffy. All right, Jeffy. Here's your $500 VR glasses. Thanks, Daddy. I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm going to go get me some more cheese and crackers. Well, no, Jeffy. You're going to stay away from that guy. But Daddy paid with Paper! Jeff, stop it! Look, you just play your stupid game, look. Alright, Daddy. There. Oh, this is a cool game, Daddy! Oh, there's a cool car over there! I'm gonna go get in it. Oh, oh, alright, Jeffy, well, you keep playing your game. I'm gonna get your bath ready, alright? Alright, Daddy. Alright, Jeffy's bath is all ready. Let me go get him. Alright, Jeffy, your bath is ready. Alright, Daddy, I'm just cruising down the highway, checking my text messages. These people need to get out of my way. They're on the wrong side of the road. Well, Jeffy, it's time for your bath, so come on. Alright, Daddy. Alright, Jeffy, your bath is ready, so get in. Well, Daddy, I'm already underwater. <laughs> Daddy, there's a shark! Wait, Jeffy, there's no shark. Daddy, he's gonna eat me! No! Get away from my leg! You don't, have to, you don't have to take a bath. You don't have to take a bath. Come on. Let's go. Leave. Ugh. All right, Jeffy. Since you didn't want to take a bath, you have to eat green beans for dinner. Well, Daddy, I don't like my green beans. I just want to play my game. Well, you can play your game after you eat your green beans. But I don't like green beans, Daddy. Well, you're going to eat them. Don't you push me. Well, Jeffy, I didn't push you. It must be your stupid game. Why did you hit me, Daddy? I didn't hit you. Oh, well, take this, Daddy. Jeffy, you're not, you're not doing anything. Oh, you like that, Daddy? Well, how about my rocket launcher? Mm -hmm. Jeffy, you don't have a rocket launcher. Boom! You just got blown to smithereens, Daddy! Well, Jeffy, I'm gonna take away your stupid glasses until you learn to behave. Oh, no, Daddy! I don't want my green beans! Did you give me my glasses back right now? No, I'm not giving them back until you eat all your green beans. You better eat them. <gasps> all right, Daddy, give me back my glasses. Did you eat all your green beans? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. You pinky promise? Well, I only got four fingers. Which finger am I missing? I, I think you're missing your middle finger. Good, because if I had one, I'd be giving it to you every single day. Jeffy, did you eat your green beans or not? I did. Right, I'm gonna go check. Not. Did not. I'm just gonna play with these while he's gone. Gucci. 
<sighs> Jaffe! We. Jaffe! Not now, Daddy. I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> Jaffe, give me those glasses. Father, what the heck? Jeffy, you said you ate your green beans, but you lied! I didn't lie, Daddy. I said I did not. Well, Jeffy, you cannot do that. You have to say not right after did. What, well, Daddy? You didn't tell me how fast I needed to talk. I just said I did not. All right, Jeffy, well, you can get your glasses back after school. Okay. Not. Oh, oh, that doesn't even make any sense. Jeffy, go to bed and get your glasses after school tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Daddy, I'm going to bed. Not. I am not going to bed. I have to hide these from Jeffy. I can hide them in the dishwasher. Yeah, he wouldn't check in there. <sighs> my daddy wants to take my glasses from me. Well, I'm going to teach him a lesson. I'm going to throw plates all night long. Ooh, my glasses? My daddy probably put them in the dishwasher to keep me from getting them. I'm going to take these to school tomorrow. Today, we're going to be running the vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Why sometimes Y? I have no idea. I don't think anybody know why sometimes Y. But I have a song that's going to help you remember your vowels. It's called Old McDonald. Old McDonald had a farm, E, I, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here oink there, oink everywhere, oink oink. Old McDonald had a farm, A E I O U, and sometimes why? You got a cross? Wait, Jiffy, why are you standing on top of your desk? I'm standing on top of a building. Whoa, are those the new virtual reality sunglasses? Yep. What game are you playing? Grand Theft Auto. And right now, I'm standing on top of a building. I'm about to jump off. Well, do you have a parachute? Nope. Well, don't do that. All right, Crass. I know what you're wondering. If these letters are vowels, then what are the other letters called? Not vowels. And I also have a song to help you remember these as well. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, and Z, and sometimes Y. You got a problem? <laughs> Jeffy, are you okay? Ow. Jeffy, no creaming in crafts. You cream right in my ear. When you cream, I cream. There ain't no room for the cream in the crafts. You can cream outside the crafts, but no creaming in crafts. When you cream, I cream, we all cream for I cream. Okay? Have a good day, crafts. Go home. See you tomorrow. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Jeffy. How was school? Great. Jeffy! What? Where'd you get the glasses at? Uh, in the dishwasher, Daddy. Which is really weird because glasses don't belong in the dishwasher. Or it should be called a glasses washer. Jeffy, I took them away from you and I was trying to hide them from you. Well, you didn't do a good job, Daddy, because I found them. <laughs> Who's that? Jeffy, just stay right here. All right, Daddy. Uh, hello? Hey there. I uh, heard that you bought some... The cops! Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was kind of a delayed reaction there. Uh, so sorry, I... I, I, I... That, that's fine. I'll, I'll just start over. Okay, so the reason I'm here is because I heard that you bought some virtual reality sunglasses. Oh yeah, I did. I bought them from some guy in his garage. Right, yeah, those are illegal. R what? Illegal? But how'd he have them then? Well, see, he stole those from the CIA. See, they're, they're the top secret virtual reality training glasses, and he stole them. Oh, so. well, 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 my son actually bought them. He gave me the money, and I went and bought them. How did your son get $500? Oh, the guy across the street paid him $500. Wow, what did he do? He wanted him to eat cheese and crackers from between his toes. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what? From he, where? He wanted him to eat cheese and crackers between his toes off of him. From between his... Okay, well, I'm going to have a word with that guy after I leave here. Yeah. Okay, because I might want some cheese and crackers, and I need the money. Well, what? All right, I'm coming in. Uh, Jeffy, the cops are here. Not now, Danny. I'm driving the tank. Boom, car, take that. Uh, he's driving a tank. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like he's having fun. Uh, so those glasses are really illegal? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need those. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, well, he, he's driving a tank. So, so, so the guy that sold them to me, he sold them from the CIA? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why you need them. So then how do you make a commercial selling them? Oh, see, that's how we found them. We saw his commercial, so we found out who he was, and we found them. 
Oh, oh, Jeffy, you're gonna have to get those glasses back. But Danny, I bought these! Well, Jeffy did buy them for $500, so do you give him back the $500? Well, no, no, that's evidence. I need those. Well, he did spend $500, so like he needs his $500 back. Well, go talk to Cheese and Cracker Toes across the street. I don't care. He'll give you more money. Well, you know what Jeffy did to get that money? Yes, exactly what I'm gonna do when I leave here after he gives me those glasses. Well, I mean, it would be fair if Jeffy got a refund, you know? No, no, we'll work that out later. Just give me the glasses. <sighs> Jeffy, give the glasses back to the cop. I didn't have to. Yes, yes, you do have to. You legally have to. Na -na. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sure that'll hold up in court. Uh, Your Honor, he pleads na -na, so I guess he doesn't have to give them back. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Just let him go then. Well, J Jeffy, just give the glasses back to the nice cop. No, Danny, I paid for these $500. I'm not giving them back. They're mine. J just give them back to the dirty pig, okay? Uh, well, I, I can hear you, you know. Oh, I was just hoping that... Oh, 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 look, Jeffy, give him back the glasses. No. I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, if you don't give me back the glasses, I'm going to tase you. Well, you, don't, you don't have to tase them. That, 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 that seems like excessive force. Well, it's going to work, I promise. Uh, well, how about take my rocket launcher? <clears throat> All right. Mario, grab the glasses. Oh, okay. Uh, give me those. Thank you. Now, if you excuse me, I have a date with some toes. Jeffy, calm down. I, I know you're sad the cop had to take your glasses, but I got you a new gift. You did? Yeah, I got you the new virtual reality glasses that are not illegal. Daddy, you are so pee pee. Yes, I am, Jeffy. Yes, I am. Oh, look, Daddy's my boomerang. She did come back. Daddy? Jeffy, it's time to get ready for school. Yeah, Jeffy, come on. Hey, Dan, can we play Hungry Hungry Mooses? Well, no, Jeffy, you have to get ready for school. Bruh. But I want to play with the mooses. Well, you can play with the mooses after school. The moose. Well, no, Jeffy, not the moose. The moose. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to get his lunch ready. Come on, Jeffy, get ready. No, the mooses need to be played with. Oh, who's that? The mooses? No, no Jeffy, hold on. Uh, hello? <coughs> <laughs> well, are you okay? No, I think I'm getting sick. You know, I got a dry cough, chest tight, fatigue, you know, all that. Well, well you're Jeffy's teacher. Does he still have to go to school? No, I came here to tell you that Jeffy's going to be out of school for two months. For two months? How's he going to learn? Well, starting today, Jeffy's going to need to get a laptop because we're going to do online classes. But online classes? Are you still going to be the teacher? No, we got some other woman going to do it because I'm on the way to the hospital right now because I'm about to be in the ICU for two weeks. Okay, well, I hope you get better. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, I got some good news. You don't have to go to school today. Show moose time. What? No, not moose time. It's computer time. Because you have to do an online class. Oh, so we're going to look up pictures of mooses. Oh, no, no, no. You have to do online school because school's canceled for two months. So the teacher sent me an email, so you have to do an online class with the teacher. But moose time. No, moose time comes after computer time, so we're going to do computer time. And we're going to do the school, all right? No, just jump No mooses. Look, we're going to call the teacher, okay? All right, Jeffy, it's calling. You're about to do online school. I don't want to do school, Daddy. Well, hello there, young fellas. Uh, hello, you must be Jeffy's online teacher. Yes, I've been teaching for 55 years. A whole bunch of young, hot men. Mm. Uh, 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 okay, well, uh, this is my son, Jeffy. Say hi, Jeffy. Hey. Hello, Jeffy. Can you excuse me and your father? We're going to have a quick parent-teacher conference. Mm. Uh, 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 okay, uh, Jeffy, leave the room. All right, Daddy. All right, bye, Jeffy. Be back in a few minutes. Did your son leave the room, dear? Uh, yeah, he, he's completely gone. He's not here anymore. <laughs> I think you've been a real bad student, and you need to go to detention. What? 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 <laughs> what, what? Oh, yeah. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Put your clothes back on. <laughs> what? Treat me like your homework and do me all night long. Jeffy's teacher! Leg that baby! What, what is she doing? Uh, she's supposed to be teaching, but, Leg. but, but I, I don't know what she's doing. It's supposed to be a parent-teacher conference. Oh my gosh, that doesn't look like a parent-teacher conference! Stash all over me! Okay, okay. Mario, what was that? Oh, okay, baby, look, Je Jeffy has to do online school because uh, school's canceled for like two months, so uh, his teacher wanted to do online stuff, so that, that was my first time doing that. Mario, that didn't 
look like the first time you've ever done that? You looked way too comfortable. Well, comfortable? She's like 80. Why would I be comfortable with that? Mario, ew! Well, I know, ew. I, I, I don't know why she was doing any of that. That was my first time seeing her. and look, It was just with me learning. Mario, I cannot believe you would do that to me. I didn't do anything to you. I, that was my first time seeing her like that. Well, Mario, if that's what you want, then I'm out of here. What is that? I don't want that. Ew. What? Oh, th this is so stupid. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, saw berries? The factory hit the berry button and was like, ooh, saw berries? Sell it. <laughs> hey, Chef PB. What do you want, Mario? Can't you see I'm about to eat some ooh, saw berries? The factory hit the berry button and was like, ooh, saw berries. We got to sell it. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, that, that is crazy. I know. Look, I need you to help me fix my marriage. Wait, what's wrong with your marriage? Uh, look, my wife wants to leave me because she thinks I'm cheating on her with an 80-year-old woman. Oh, high five. Give me some. Wait, I'm not I'm not cheating on her with an 80-year-old woman. Well, I'll take my high five back. Uh, why would that be a good thing? Because, you know, they still have some life left in them. You know, they need some loving, too. <sighs> Chevy, look, look, no, I just need you to fix my marriage, so I need you to cook, like, a really fancy dinner. Like, you get us to do, like, a fancy restaurant tonight? Well, all the restaurants are closed tonight, but I think we could break into one, and I could cook one up for you. Uh, okay, so we'll break into a restaurant and Jeffy! What's up, Daddy? Okay, look, I need you to go uh, blindfold Mommy and bring her to the date tonight so you can save our marriage because Mommy wants to leave me. All right, Daddy, I can do that. <laughs> All right, that's what we're going to do, okay? Aw, Jeffy, this is so sweet that you planned a surprise for me. I can't wait. Can I take my blindfold off now? Yeah. Yeah, Mommy, we can take it off right now. doing here? Well, baby, I planned this whole date as an apology dinner. Mario, what you did is unforgivable. And what did I do? You cheated on me with that old wrinkly grandma. I did not cheat on you. Then what were you doing? Uh, learning. Learning? And what was she teaching you? I, I don't know. She was supposed to be teaching Jeffy. Ew! That's sick, Mario. I agree. She's nasty. I mean, I mean, I don't think she's nasty. I mean, she's nasty, but not nasty. I don't know. She's nasty. Mario, I'm leaving. Oh, no, no, baby, don't, don't leave. At least have dinner with me and we can talk things through, you know? Chef PB, we're ready to order. Hey, 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 how are you two lovebirds doing? We are not lovebirds because I'm not an old grandma bird. <sighs> okay, then, um, what are we eating tonight? Well, we would like I to... don't know, Mario. What do old ladies like to eat? Applesauce? Tapioca pudding? Vitamins? I don't know what she would like to eat because I've never been on a dinner date with her. Why is that, Mario? Because she can't get out of the old folks home because she has a car view? Pro probably not. Look, look, look. We would like to get two orders of the chicken alfredo. Is that what she likes, Mario? I don't know. Probably not because she doesn't have teeth. Okay, so chicken alfredo or not? Yes, two orders of the chicken alfredo. That. Okay, I'll get it. With a side of old lady! Oh, look, baby, baby, can we please have just a nice romantic dinner date, please? Mario, you cheated on me! I did not cheat on you. What can I do to prove to you that I didn't cheat on you? I saw all the proof I needed to see. Which was what? You couldn't take your eyes off of the computer screen, Mario! Because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was an old lady who had clothes on, and then the next second she didn't have clothes on, and she was supposed to be teaching Jeffy. It didn't make sense. You're sick, Mario! Mwah! It's a masterpiece! Uh, Jeffy, come here. The dinner's ready. More much for she do. You pick up that plate, I will pick up this one. We take it in there to them. <laughs> All right. Whoops. Jeffy, why would you break that plate? What? Oh, now we only have one plate. Oh, I'll take it, y'all. Wait, no, Jeffy, no. I'll take it in there to them. God. Okay, here's your food. Well, it looks kind of good, I guess. Where's my food? Oh, wow, Mario. All you can do is think about yourself. So selfish. I'm not selfish. I just want to know where my food is. Jeffy threw it on the ground. He's such a savage. Man, he's so savage. Uh, you guys can share this plate, though. You know you can do the lady in the tramp thing where you suck on a noodle until you kiss? I would not do that because I'm not a dog like Mario. <sighs> Look, have a blast, guys. Baby, look, can we please just go back to the house and we, me and you can video chat the old lady? Oh, of course you want to video chat her. That's all you can think about. You can't help yourself. And now you want to watch it with me, sick. Well, no, 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 I said me and you can go video chat the old lady and I can prove to you that I don't know who she is. She would have done that with anyone, any guy she would have done that to. Really? Yeah, she would even do it with a uh, Chef Bibi. Chef Bibi, get in here. 
Oh, what do you want, Mario? Okay, look, I need you to go back to the house. I need you to video chat this old lady until she gets naked. Okay, I'm down. Huh? Really? Yeah, I like older women. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> oh, okay, come, come on, baby, let's go. Okay, Chef PeePee, I'm gonna call the old lady on the laptop, and all you have to do is talk to her, and she's gonna get naked. Look, Mario, you better not be playing with me, okay? I'm not playing with you. It's, it's that easy. Look. All right, it's calling her. I see, baby, look, I'm gonna prove to you that I don't know who she is, and she'll do this to anyone. Oh, hey there, big boy. Are you ready to learn? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to learn. You should teach me something. <laughs> mm, well, let's learn some science. I'm gonna teach you the anatomy of the human body. <laughs> oh, God! He's right here on my bosom. Mm, and you wanna see my sexy legs? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh, yes. See, look, she'll do that with anyone. Well, I guess you're right, Mario, but it doesn't really prove that you didn't find her yourself. This is my throat. Who's at the door? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, hello? <coughs> Sorry. I came here tonight to apologize because I accidentally sent you guys the wrong link to Jeffy's online class. What? Well, you, you sent me the wrong link. Yes, I accidentally got my school folder confused with my naughty old lady live cam folder. So you guys got the old lady. So, so, so you sent me that link on accident, right? Yeah. Do you like it? Uh, see, baby, look, you sent me the wrong link. Oh, Mario, I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. But do you like? See, baby, you should start trusting me more. I, I don't like old ladies. You're right, Mario. I'm sorry. But do you write? No, no, I do not write. Oh, I'm so sorry. I sent you the right ring. But uh, I gotta get back to the hospital because I snuck out of quarantine. I'll see you later. Uh, okay. See, baby, look, I was telling the truth. I'm so sorry that I didn't trust you, Mario. I know. You shouldn't think that I'm gonna cheat on you with an 80-year-old woman. You're right. It was just some miscommunication. No, it wasn't. It was you assuming. Okay. You should not think that I like old ladies. You're right. I'm gonna trust you from now on. Oh, from now on. What made you not trust me before? That's a good question. Um, hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. Are you two back together now? Yes, Jeffy. I love Mario. Mwah. Whatever. Good. Yo, can we play Hungry Hungry Moses? Oh, that sounds like fun! And the hippos, Jeffy. No, they're not. They're mooshes. I'm going to be the purple one. What, that, that's yellow, Jeffy. One, two, three, go! Oh, Jeffy! I'll, 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 I'll use your actual mouth, Jeffy. Yes, I can. Jeffy, stop! Hey, Daddy, what doing? Oh, hey, Jeffy. I I'm just checking my emails. Oh, can I watch, Daddy? I mean, yeah. I mean, there's, there's nothing really to watch. I'm just checking my emails. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I have an email from Goodman. Oh, I wonder what it... Oh, 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 uh, Jeffy, 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 don't look. Jeffy. Don't look, I'm trying, I'm trying to exit out of it. Jimmy, stop it. Um, uh, 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 come on, turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Turn off, Jimmy, stop. Uh, uh, okay, thank God. Uh, Jeffy, you weren't meant to see that. That, that was an accident. It was, it was a spam link. Daddy, you better turn that back on. What? No, Jeff, you weren't supposed to watch that. It's inappropriate. Daddy, she was taking a pee pee in her butthole. I, I know, Jeffy, but you're not supposed to watch it. it, it you're supposed to be over 18 to watch that. You, you're not going to watch it. You're not watching that. You're not supposed to. Daddy, I want to watch that again right no, now. Jeffy, you're not watching it again, and that's final. Aww. Wait, where's my hat? Okay, I found my hat. Put it back on. Daddy, I really want to watch that movie. Jeff, you're not going to watch that movie. It's inappropriate. I don't want you to watch it, so stop bringing it up. Aww. Hey, Mari. Ah! I mean, what, 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 what are you doing here? Why do you always do that? What? Every time I come over, it's, what are you doing here? It's not, hi, Rosalina. Thank you for coming over. Or, hi, Rosalina. I missed you. It's, what are you doing here? Well, it's just, you know, when you pop up out of nowhere, I'm just like, you know, what, what, what are you doing here? There you go again. What are you doing here? Well, well, it's just an inconvenient time. You came at an inconvenient time. Well, what's inconvenient, Mario? Oh, oh me and Dad were watching a movie, Mom. Yeah, yeah that, that's it. Yeah, me and Jeffy were watching a movie. Yeah, that, that's what it was. What movie? Ass Pounders 2. Shut up, Jeffy. Don't tell him, Jeffy. Um, Ass Pounders 2? Ass Pounders 2. It's about two donkeys. No, no it's not. It's about a butthole getting pounded by a pee pee. Like, Shut up, what? Jeffy. No, 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 Jeffy doesn't know what he's talking about. Mario, if you're watching inappropriate movies, you know I count that as cheating. Uh, well, no, no, I was not watching inappropriate movies. Ass Pounders 2 is about a donkey, two donkeys that get hit by a car. That, that's what happened. I don't remember all that, Daddy. All I remember was a big pee pee going inside. No, oh, Jeffy, 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 how about, how about you shut up? If you shut up, I'll take you to Toys R Us and I'll buy you one toy. One toy, Daddy? One toy if you just shut up about it, okay? Okay, Daddy. 
Okay, shut up. Yeah, it's Ass Pounders is about two donkeys that get hit by a car. Yep. Aww. Mm -hmm. And it's the sequel. It's Ass Pounders 2. I it? really wish I would have saw the first one. Yeah, yeah. They didn't have the first one. They only had the second one. But I'm going to take Jeffy to Toys R Us to buy him a toy real quick. So. Aw, that's sweet, Mario. Yeah, so if you could just stay right here and uh, not get on the computer. Just just stay right here and uh, me, me and Jeffy will be right back, okay? Okay. So, all right. Come on, Jeffy. One toy. Bye, Mario. Let's you one toy. Let's give you one toy. All right, Jeffy, you get to choose one toy. One toy, Donnie? Yeah, one toy, so make it count. Hmm, hmm which one do you want, Jeffy? What, you like that toy? Nope. What? Jeffy, don't throw the toys! One! Because if you throw it, then you're gonna break it, and then I have to buy it, and I don't want to buy you more than one toy. Do, do you like that one, Jeffy? Nope. Jeffy, I said don't throw the toys! Well, Danny, I didn't want that toy. Well, well what about this toy, Jeffy? This is, this is a, this is a, you know what, I don't like it. Nope. I don't like that one. Uh, sir, can I help you with something? Uh, uh, no, we're, we're just looking. Uh, well, you're throwing toys, so I thought maybe you need some help. Uh, well, I, I just didn't like that toy, so I threw well, it. Well, that's really mature of you. Well, hey, Dad, what about this? Ah, but, whoa! Jeffy, what is that? Wait, wait. I don't know, Dad. I found it over here. Really Jeffy, that's scary! Yeah, yeah, we don't even sell that. Where did you get that? Wait, you don't I sell it? it right here! Wait. Well, we don't sell that. I, I. Well, then why is it in the store? I, I don't know. What... Jeffy, that's really scary. Put it back. No, Dad. If I'm getting this toy, I'm gonna scream. Jeffy, put it back! Daddy? Put it back! <laughs> All right, we're back from the store. Aw, you got a dolly, Jeffy. How cute. Cute? You think that thing is cute? It is cute, Mario. What's wrong with it? It doesn't have eyes. It looks like death. It looks like a normal doll to me. What's her name, Jeffy? Ariola. Areola, Jeffy. Mm -hmm. Why does that sound so familiar? Jeffy, you could have had any toy in the entire store and you chose this scary thing? Because she can talk to me, Daddy. What? She can talk to you? Yeah, Daddy. She said she wanted to come home with me. Aw, that's cute! He thinks she can talk to him. What if what, what, what she really can talk? Don't be silly, Mario. Dolls can't talk. What, 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 if, what, what if this one's like possessed or something? Mario. Um, Daddy, um, Ariola said she doesn't like you. She wants to cut your head off. <laughs> that's so funny, well, Jeffy! Well, 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 why did Ariola say that? Well, what did I do to her? I don't know, Daddy. She just doesn't like you. Hey, Mario, isn't it past Jeffy's bedtime? Uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, J Jeffy, it's time to go to bed, so um, I, I guess grab a a Areola and, and go to bed, okay? All right, Dad. Good night. G good, good night, Jeffy. That doll is really creeping me out. I, I, think, I think it's possessed or something. You're fine, Mario. There's nothing wrong with the doll. Areola, why don't you like my daddy? Oh, he's really a nice guy. You don't have to kill him. Well, do whatever you have to do, Ariola. That was so sweet of you to buy that doll for Jeffy, Mario. I wish I wouldn't have bought it. Why not? It's possessed. It's scary. It said it wanted to kill me. You're overreacting, Mario. It's not that scary. Ah! What happened to life? It was the doll. It was the doll. Mario, no. It's just a storm. It's a power outage. You're right. It is storming outside. It's just a power outage. Well, Mario, I should probably get home. It's getting late. Watch out, don't leave! Uh, I'm afraid of the dark. Afraid of the dark? Really, Mario? I thought I was dating a man. Uh, I mean, y you are dating a man. I'm a strong man. I'm, I'm not afraid of no dark. All right. Yeah. Well, then walk me to the door. Uh, 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 okay, c c can I get a, get a flashlight? Mario. I, uh, I don't need a flashlight. I'm a man. Come on. Okay. Let's, 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 let's walk you to the door. Let's go. Yeah, I, I'm going. Come I'm, on, Mario. I'm going. All right, get home safe. Good night, Mario. Uh, good night. Oh, and also, don't let the doll kill you. Ah! <laughs> I'm just joking, Mario. It's just a doll. Yeah, yeah it's just it's just a doll. Yeah, it's just a it's just a stupid doll. It's, that's all it is. It's just a doll. It's just a doll. Oh, I can't believe the power went out. I'm so afraid of the dark. I'm gonna go check on Jeffy. Make sure he's okay. Oh, yes, Di? Um, the power went out. I want to make sure you're okay. Oh, yeah, Di, I was sleeping. Okay, um, wh where's your doll at? Oh, <gasps> Di, she was right here! You don't know where she's at? No, Di, I don't know where she is! Jimmy, quit playing. Where, where's Ariola? I don't know, Di! Jimmy! <laughs> Di! <laughs> Di! <laughs> Come here. Jimmy, stop again, please. Ah! Okay, I got a flashlight. I don't know what's going on. Some really scary stuff's happening. Ariola! Ariola! 
Ariola. Ariola. Ah! Oh my god. Stupid doll. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ariola. What is going on? What is going on? What? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? What happened? What happened here? Liar. So Jeffy was in on it the whole time? The whole time. Yep. I was the one that hid the toy at the toy store, and I told Jeffy to bring it home. Well, well, how'd you know I was gonna lie to you? Cause you're a liar, Mario. I don't want you to lie to me. I want you to tell me the truth. Well, well I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't have lied to you. I should've just told you the truth, but... That's all I want. Um, Daddy, um, now that this is all over now, can we go to the toy store and I can get a real toy now? No, Jeffy! No, you're not getting a new toy. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing another show and tell, so hopefully you brought something cool to show to Crass. What'd you bring for show and tell, Cody? I brought my violin. I learned how to play Star Wars on it. That's so cool. What'd you bring, Joseph? I brought a wash. What, Joseph, why would you bring a wash? Why wouldn't I bring a wash, Cody? What if it stings you? It's not going to sting me. It's my pet. Duh. It's not your pet. Then why is it in this cup, huh? Well, because you trapped it in there. Guys, look what I brought for show and tell. I brought a never-before-opened Hey Arnold toy. Oh, dude, that's super cool. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. You know how hard it is not to open up a Hey Arnold toy for years, Cody? Not, not that hard. What'd you bring, Penelope? I brought my princess piggy bank. It has $45 in it. Well, I'll give you my Hey Arnold toy for the $45. No, Junior. Oh, I'm so mad at Penelope for not giving me that money. All right, Jeffy. You come up here and show and tell first. Ooga booga booga booga. Don't be scared. It's just me. This is a lion mask that I found. Very scary, Jeffy. You can go back to your seat. All right, Penelope, it's your turn. I can't wait to show everyone my piggy bank. <laughs> Jeffy, you broke my piggy bank. You're going to have to pay for that. Well, I'm a kid cat. I don't have any money. Ha <laughs> ha, Penelope, that's what you get for not buying my Hey Arnold toy. Shut up, Junior. All right, you two, settle down. Go back to your seats. All right, Cody, you come up and present next. Hell yeah. You guys ready for your ears to explode from greatness? <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm going to be playing the intro song from Star Wars. You know, the one that goes like, da na 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 you know, you know that one? Okay, here we go. Ugh, I didn't even get to do my show and tell. Because you didn't buy my Hey Arnold toy for $45. Oh, go cry about it, Junior. Go cry about it? Bitch. Joseph! What's up, dude? I will give you my Hey Arnold toy if you put that wasp down the back of her shirt. Oh, say less. I was eyeing the Hey Arnold toy since you showed me, dude. <laughs> Alright, dude, I put it down her shirt. Here you go. Yes! Hey, Penelope, how you feeling? Fine. Wait, there's there's something crawling on my stomach! It's a wasp! <laughs> Oh, thank you for cheering, Penelope. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Penelope, why are you creaming? Probably because she enjoys my beautiful music. Teacher, I just got stung by a wasp and I'm allergic. Now my stomach's all bloated. Well, maybe you're pregnant, Penelope. Shut up, Junior. Maybe Jeffy got you pregnant when he ran into you. <gasps> I got Penelope pregnant? Hey, Daddy. What's wrong, Jeffy? Did your classmates not like your lion mask? No, they did. Then why the long face? Because my mommy drank when she was pregnant with me. No, I meant why are you sad? 
Well, I'm afraid to tell you. Jeffy, we're your parents. You can tell us anything. Yeah, Jeffy. You promise you won't get mad? Well, I gotta know what it is first. And you promise you take me to Disney World so I can get over it? How bad is it, Jeffy? Oh, it's really bad. Like, so bad. Like, the worst thing ever. My life is over. Did you kill someone? Well, not yet. I mean, she gets to make that decision later on down the line. You know, her body, her choice. What are you talking about, Jeffy? I got a girl pregnant. What? Jeffy! You got a girl pregnant, Jeffy? Why would you do that? Well, hey, it's not my fault. Oh, it is your fault, Jeffy. You're the one who did it. Well, I ran into her and I busted her pink piggy open and then she asked me to pay for it. She asked you to pay for it? Yeah. Oh, my God, baby, Jeffy, I caught up in some weird money situation. <laughs> baby, Jeffy, are you sure she's pregnant? Yeah, her belly's already big. Well, Jeffy, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, I just found out today. Oh, my God, are you sure it's yours? Yeah, I mean, I did bust that pink piggy wide open, Daddy. Like, it made a mess. It was all over the carpet. Ew, Jeffy! Well, where'd you even do this at, Jeffy? In the classroom. Oh, Jeffy, you're sick. You are sick, Jeffy. Why would you do that? Well, it was an accident. I hope it was an accident. I hope you didn't plan on doing this, Jeffy. Well, yeah, it was the first time I ran into her. Oh, my God, Jeffy, you're supposed to get the nose on before you do that. Oh, my God, baby, what do we do? We need to call a doctor. Well, there's always plan B. Jeffy, it's too late for that. Her belly's already big. Well, plan B is in push her down the stairs. That's not a bad idea. Marvin! No, baby, it looks like Jeffy's too young to have a kid. He can't raise a kid. Marvin! Okay, fine. We'll call a doctor and ask him what stairs he recommends pushing her down. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, we're not doing so good. Yeah, me neither, man. This economy, am I right? Ugh, I am barely scraping by. I don't even know if I can afford to keep the lights on next month. My panic attacks keep me up at night. No, I'm talking about Jeffy got someone pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Is it a boy or a girl? I got a girl pregnant. But no, I mean, is the baby a boy or a girl? We don't know yet. We'll let it decide when it gets older. But hopefully it identifies as dead soon. But, okay, so what do you need me for? Listen, doctor, he got a girl pregnant and he hasn't told us who she is yet, but we're just scared. What do we do? Well, Sasquatch probably went back into the woods. What? Well, I mean, no offense to Jeffy, but she had to be pretty hideous if she was willing to bang him. I mean, my daughter would never. She's a straight-A student and she has respect for herself. What would you do if your daughter got pregnant? I'd probably kill her. Strangle her, actually. Yeah, you know, hold her underwater in the bathtub for about three minutes. That ought to do it. Yeah. But I don't have to worry about that, because she is perfect. Actually, I don't even think she likes boys. Between me and you, I think she prefers Runch and Mug, if you know what I mean. Well, listen, we just don't know what to do. We've never dealt with a situation like this before. Well, I would suggest calling her over here and having to take a pregnancy test to see if she's even pregnant. I don't want to ask a girl to take a pregnancy test. That's weird. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. How about this? How about I hide behind the couch and you call her over, and then when she gets here, I jump out and scare her so she pees a little bit, because I'm pretty scary, and then I'll catch some of that pee with a pregnancy test, and then we'll know if she's pregnant or not. You're not scary. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not really the- ah! Ha! See? I'm scary. You jumped. Yeah, you are pretty scary. I like your plan more than just asking her to take a pregnancy test. Yeah. Well, we already know she's pregnant because her belly is big. Listen, I'm sure she's f***ing huge. That doesn't mean she's pregnant. You know, Olga's can get pretty big. I mean, I bet she looks like Fiona from Shrek, you know, after sundown. But you should call her over here because I don't want to have to go to a swamp. Okay, yeah, Jeffy, you go get the girl. You hide behind the couch. Okay, I'll do that. All right, then she's right there. So you're the girl who's causing all these problems. Look, I just want my money. <gasps> have some dignity, young lady. I want my $45. $45? That's all she charged you? Hey, I worked hard for that. Yeah, I'm sure you did work hard with all that nasty stuff you did to Jeffy. How often do you do stuff like this? Do what? You know, bust your piggy open. That was my first time, and it was really embarrassing. I couldn't even show off my piggy for show and tell. You were going to show off your piggy for show and tell? Your father must be ashamed. I'm so glad we're trying to get rid of it. Get rid of what? You know, will, will you get rid of it? Get rid of what? I just want my money. If we give you the $45, will you do what we want? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I'll give her the $45. Well, I got 50 I got 100 in my wallet. Okay, yeah, deal. All right, Brooklyn guy, you can come on out. She just wants money. <laughs> wow, Marvin. I heard the whole thing. She sounds like a real gold digger. Oh, hey, Penelope, what are you doing here? Wait, Marvin, where'd the girl go? I want to show my daughter what a real slut looks like. Uh, she is the girl. <laughs> Penelope, you hussy! What? You're the girl who busted a piggy open? Yeah, I accidentally ran into Jeffy and he busted it open. Oh, this is a parent's worst nightmare. I thought I raised you better than that. And why are you charging money for it? Because he busted my piggy open. Oh, sweet Jesus. I shattered her piggy. You mother or I'll kill you! Hi, 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 stop fighting, stop fighting! We can't change what happened. It already happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. It was an accident, right, Jeffy? Yeah. yeah. And I've had plenty of accidents, too. I mean, that's how Penelope was born. What? 
Listen, she said she'll get rid of it for $45. Get rid of what? Oh, you're getting rid of it, young lady. There's no way you're ready for that. What are you talking about? Oh, don't even try to hide it. Your stomach is huge. Oh, that? Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Oh, thank God. I was going to come to you for help as a doctor. Oh, good, because there's like, there's some stairs over there, so I could just give you a knuckle sandwich right in the stomach. Um, isn't that going to make it worse? I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt, and it's not going to be fun, but then again, you already had your fun, didn't you? I didn't have fun with this. It was a really mean prank all the boys at school played on me. Everyone was in on it, and it hurt and stung. Oh, bee needle dick. I'll kill you. Oh, okay, God, that is, that is, that is no fighting. Listen, she said she's willing to do a solution, so you just gotta find out which one she wants to do. Okay, yeah. Penelope, how do you want to get rid of it? I don't know. Like, a shot? Ooh, a shot. A shot. Yeah, that's that's the best way of doing it. Um, I keep my shots over here, by the stairs. Okay. All right, Dad, where's the shot? Here's a shot. Right in the gut. <laughs> Okay, I think that might have done it. How's your stomach feel? It hurts, but it hurt before, too. Hmm, I think we need to go to the top of the stairs and do it a few more times. How is that going to help my wasp sting? I'm sorry, you what? I got stung by a wasp on the stomach. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you didn't get pregnant? What? Ew, no, Dad. But, but what about your piggy getting busted open? I brought my piggy banks for show and tell, and Jeffy knocked into me, and it shattered on the floor. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, I am so happy. What the hell did you think happened? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just keep your pure, innocent mind pure and innocent. Look, look, you just go home, and I will go upstairs and explain to those nice people what happened. Okay. Whew. Good news, everyone. Is it dead? Well, technically. Shibby! Well, not even shibby, because it turns out she wasn't pregnant to begin with. Oh, thank God. Woohoo! Pull out Game Strong as fuck. Well, no, not even that, because it turns out she and Jeffy didn't even do anything. Well, what about all the busting the piggy stuff? Oh, well, she brought her piggy bank to school for show and tell, and Jeffy just accidentally broke it. Then why was her stomach so big? Oh, uh, she gets stung on the stomach by a wasp, and she's really allergic to wasps. That's why it swelled up so much. Well, Jeffy, why did you think you got her pregnant? Because I ran into her, and then everyone said she was pregnant. But that's not where babies come from. Yeah, this whole thing, let's just be happy that it was a big misunderstanding. Yep. Mm hmm Yep. yep. Just a big misunderstanding. Big misunderstanding. misunderstanding. Yep. Big misunderstanding. That's a big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, yes, good. Yep. Happy ending. Yes, a big yes, misunderstanding. Yes, 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 y
hold it? Why are you such a big grabby five year old? I, I, I can't hold it. I, it was coming out. I just, I just couldn't hold it. Well, since you pooped your pants, you're gonna have to wear a diaper for now. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna egg Junior's house, and then I'm gonna ring his doorbell so we can work on the project. Wait, wait, is that Junior's room? <laughs> I'm gonna sneak up to the window so I can throw eggs at him through the window. <laughs> Chef Baby, how long do I have to wear this diaper for? So you stop pooping your pants like a little crybaby baby, you stupid crybaby big head baby. All you do is poop your pants like a five year old. What's wrong with you? I only poop my pants one time. One time's more than enough. Now say it right now. You're a crybaby poopy pants baby. I'm a crybaby poopy pants baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're Chef Baby, how long has he been recording? I don't know. Well, not, not, not everyone at school's gonna see that. Well, at least everybody gets to know that you're a crybaby poopy pants baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Boy, 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 you have to delete that video. No, I'm going to show everybody in class how much of a baby you are. No, no, please don't. I'll do anything for you to delete that video. Wait, anything? Anything. <laughs> okay, do the hokey pokey. What? The hokey pokey? Yeah, the hokey pokey. Do it. O okay. You put your left hand in, you take your left hand out, yeah. you take your left hand in, and you shake it all about. <laughs> I got all that on video. Oh, oh wow, I stopped recording! <laughs> I got you dressed like a baby and doing the hokey pokey. No, no, please, I'll do anything for you to delete all the videos you have of me. Huh, okay, but you have to do everything I say. Okay, I'll do everything you say. Okay, come on. Oh. Okay, so what do you want me to do? I want you to egg your own house. Huh? But if my dad finds out, I'll get grounded. Do you want me to show everybody in class those videos? No. Then egg your house. Okay. <laughs> I got that on video too. I'm going to show your dad and get you in trouble. What no! What can I do to get you to delete that video? Just keep doing everything I say. Oh. Okay, now I want you to drink out of the toilet like a dog. Well, I'm not gonna do that, that's gross! Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to show everybody at school these videos. Well, then do it then, because if I drink out of the toilet, you're gonna record me, and you're gonna have another embarrassing video of me! <laughs> How'd you know? Look, I'm not doing any more dumb stuff, delete those videos! Alright, well, I guess everybody at school is just gonna have to see these videos. Okay, then fine, show them! Alright, fine, see you tomorrow, baby. Yeah, I don't even care! Oh, man, I have to delete those videos before he shows everyone! <laughs> Did you get it all done? Psst. Cody, huh? did you get it all done? No, no, I didn't get it done. Oh, what do you mean you didn't get it done? You were supposed to do 500 pounds. Yeah, I didn't do 500 pounds. I did like three or four pounds. What, what? Three or four? You're supposed to do it all. Y yeah, yeah. Well, let me tell you what happened. I stayed up all night chugging monster energy drinks, and then I wrote until my hands broke, and then after that I had to type it with my toes, and even then I didn't finish because my computer crashed. Huh, dude, I believed in you. Now we're gonna fail. Oh, yeah? Well, how much did you write, huh? I mean, I got started. I did one paper. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, that's very helpful. Oh, you're welcome, dude. <laughs> All right, class. So I made a huge mistake. So you guys remember yesterday when I said that you had to write a 500 pound essay? Yeah? Well, I really meant a 500 word essay. So I'm gonna go my bad on that one. Thank God I didn't do it. <laughs> you okay, dude? <laughs> Hey guys, where's Junior? Hey everybody, I have the most embarrassing video of Junior. Anybody want to see it? Bori, you know the rules. No phones and crap. Bring it here. No, 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 but everybody has to see the video first. Bring it here right now. Oh man. You'll get it back tomorrow. <laughs> Did Bully show everyone that video? No, dude, the teacher took his phone. The teacher took his phone? Yeah. When did he say he's gonna get back? Uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Joseph, we have to get that phone back right now. Cody, what are you doing? Five hundred words. Huh? Alright everyone, that's enough crafts for today. Crafts dismissed. I'll see you tomorrow. What? I guess we have to get it tomorrow, dude. <sighs> uh, I hate my life. What's wrong, Junior? Did you stay up all night and break both your hands writing four pounds of an essay for no reason? No, an embarrassing video was taken of me. Oh, 
What's in the video? Is it you staying up all night and breaking both your hands writing four pounds of an essay for no reason? No, it's a video of me in a diaper because Chef Pee Pee made me put one on! Oh, well that's almost as bad as staying up all night and breaking both your hands writing four pounds of an essay for no reason. Dude, what are you gonna do? Well, the teacher took Bully's phone, so I was thinking tonight we could sneak into the school, grab the phone, and delete the videos! Dude, that's a good plan! Cody, you wanna do it with us? Well, anything could be better than staying up all night and breaking both your hands writing four pounds of an essay for no reason. Okay, look, guys, let's go! All right, guys, we're in the classroom. Now we just have to find that phone and delete the embarrassing videos. Dude, where's the phone at? I don't know, we have to look for it. I see it. What? I see it! Where, where, where is it? It's on the desk. All right, let's, let's go delete the videos. Just make sure there's no cameras watching us. Delete the videos. Delete the videos. What do you think I'm doing? Well, just, just hurry up and delete them. Okay. Are they deleted? Not yet, hold on. Are they deleted? Fine, yes, they're deleted now. Okay, 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 um, let's leave, let's leave. Woohoo! Thanks guys for helping me delete those videos! Oh, you're welcome, dude, anything for my bro. Could you not talk so loud, please? What's wrong, Cody? I have been awake for 48 hours, and I broke both of my hands, writing four pounds of an essay for no reason. Gosh, stop complaining, Cody. Yeah, life's good, Cody. Look, look, life's good, you can sleep now, and I will never have to worry about anyone seeing those embarrassing videos of me ever again. No, 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 no. What? Junior, I deleted those videos off of Bully's phone, but I sent those videos to my phone. So now, you have to do whatever I tell you to do, or I'm gonna show those videos to everybody. What? Why would you do that, Cody? Because now you're going to write the 500 word essay that's due tomorrow because my hands are broken and if I ever have to write another word in my life